Sophia Petrillo, one of the realest grandmas my Emmy's ever seen, which is why we're counting down the 11 times Sophia took it to the next level. Before we begin, remember you can press our subscribe button to get our weekly videos sent directly to your inbox. Uncle Lucas is nothing of the sort. Dorothy, he is so excited about this date because I gave him a full description of you. Well, I can understand that. I mean, women like me don't grow on trees. <laughs> Too bad we could use the shade. <laughs> Now, that's ridiculous to call off your wedding because of a silly little argument. What did Ramon do? He slept with my best friend. We're gonna eat chicken for the rest of our lives. <laughs> oh, Priscilla, I'm so sorry. Listen, be grateful he got it out of his system before the marriage. <laughs> It'll give you something to make him feel guilty about. Most women go through three, four years of marriage for ammunition like that. <laughs> I'm sorry, Sophia. I know how you go on about shoes. Honey, we both know what's going to happen. I take you down to Shim Shacks, we walk in the door, and all the salesmen disappear. I have to go to the back of the store and bribe them to come out and help you. Please, those people love me. For $10, they love you. Without a tip, you're just another old lady wearing men's socks and a bad attitude. They love me. They hate you. The last time they gave me a balloon. You ripped that out of a kid's hand. You're just upset because I won't take the first thing they bring out. You don't take anything they bring out. I took you. <laughs> Lucy Keck, when you were in junior high school and the kids gave you a hard time, what did I say? Uh, you told me I was extra special and they were just jealous. That's right. And if they still gave you a hard time, what did I tell you to say? My mother can have you eliminated with one phone call. <laughs> Oh, Dorothy, can I make a little suggestion when you go for your makeover? Sure, what is it? Don't expect a miracle. <laughs> How did you know about Santiago cigars? My husband was a fan. Not of the cigars, the boxes. We used to keep all our fine cutlery in one. <laughs> Blanche was right. She said you were incorrigible. <laughs> I guess I deserve it. I always say she's a cheap slut. <laughs> What if I got gorgeous for nothing? What if Tony doesn't even notice me? Well, that's his hard luck. There are the fish in the sea. You know, the ones my age are floating on the top. <laughs> now, Ma, remember, don't do anything I wouldn't do. I think I crossed that line when I got a date. <laughs> How's the stress look on me? What's the difference in half an hour be crumpled on the floor next to an empty bottle of Jack Daniels? <laughs> well... Good night. Good night. I'll see you at noon for lunch and six for dinner. Ten for dancing? Midnight for dessert. <laughs> dessert at midnight? <laughs> There's always room for jello. <laughs> oh, my goodness, we have company. <laughs> Just so embarrassed to be seen in this old thing. <laughs> Don't worry, Blanche, the dress covers most of it. Ma, why are you trying so hard to ruin my weekend? You don't get it, do you? This weekend could have been a lot of fun until you decided we were gonna have quality time. Oh, is that so horrible? Ma, all I wanted to do was have us finish unfinished business and say things to each other that we never said before. Dorothy, this isn't on Golden Pond. I know, Ma. And you're not Jane Fonda. All right. <laughs> What's your favorite Sophia slam? Let us know in the comments below. And thank you for being a friend and watching the Stay Golden channel. You can like and share this video with all of your friends if you've enjoyed, and if you haven't already, subscribe now. Thanks for staying tuned and stay golden.